Hey there, I'm Jeff Barr. Today I've got some highlights from last week's AWS Summit in Santa Clara. First, a brand new S3 storage class called Glacier Deep Archive. This is for your important financial, scientific, logging, or other data that you collect but rarely access. Your data is accessible within 12 hours and is stored in three separate availability zones. You can use this with other S3 features, including lifecycle rules, and you can also use the AWS Storage Gateway to create a virtual tape library. It's priced at less than one-tenth of one cent per gigabyte per month. Next up, brand new concurrency scaling for Amazon Redshift. As you might know, Redshift is our exabyte scale data warehouse. This new feature gives you a new way to deal with your query load at peak times. You no longer need to over-provision your cluster or to have to wait a little bit longer at those peak times. You can now provision your Redshift cluster to add burst clusters that come online exactly when you need them. They're online and processing queries in a matter of seconds. They process the, the burst and they shut themselves down when you no longer need them. Even better, you pay by the second for exactly what you use. We've got a brand new set of AWS deep learning containers. Our goal is to make it easier for you to put deep learning to use in your applications. You can use these new containers for training and for inference. They've got popular frameworks like TensorFlow and MXNet installed, configured, tested, and most importantly, optimized for use within AWS. We're launching with support for TensorFlow and MXNet in both CPU and GPU environments. To learn more about these and other launches, check out the AWS News blog. This summit was just the first of many that we have planned for this year. If you'd like to attend one in your area, you can register here at the link on the screen. AWS summits are free and take place all over the world. I'd love it if you follow me on Twitter, subscribe to our video series, and read the AWS News blog. Keep learning, keep building, and we'll see you again soon.